foreclosures, along with that massive backlog of homes you keep hearing about, the housing market is facing a treacherous road ahead. So how can we potentially get home buyers back into the game? Tanya Marchiola is the founder of Team of Investments. I think it's Team Investments. And she, uh, she actually has a plan. Tanya, you have a plan to fix the housing market? You got to share it with us. <laughs> Well, a plan is a that's a big stretch because I do see the numbers still declining a little bit. But again, I've said it and I think I'm just going to coin this term. We're bouncing on the bottom What the Zillow numbers came out the other day and they were all 0 0.2, 0 0.8, 0 0.6. I think there were five regions that were up a little bit. That's bouncing on the bottom. This has to eventually take a turn. But we're going to look at this for a while because of that great robo signing debacle. Yeah, but, you know, we have Rick Sharger on the show uh, and. He talked about this whole foreclosure mess going on maybe another two years. As a potential buyer, wouldn't that frighten me and just tell me, you know what, I better rent until the coast is really clear? Well, it wouldn't frighten me because we're buying all the time out here. Again, you always buy when things are low. Why would I buy when the market's high? This is a great time to buy. Whether it goes down 0.2% or up 04 this is a fabulous time to buy. People are buying homes at the right price now. They're not overinflated. So now having said that, you think we're going to get back to historical uh, norms. If, if we do, what does that mean? What kind of uh, investment returns would I get if I bought a house? this summer? Well, let's look at it like this. We are 50% below where we were in 2007, 2008. Do I ever think we're going to get back to those numbers? Absolutely not. But do I think that we're going to get back to a healthy market that is probably three-fourths of that? I do. Seeing 15% returns on a real estate investment that is a five to 10 year hold is very feasible. Let's talk about risk, though. Uh, you know, we saw a lot of government intervention. We got credits for, for buying new homes. And almost everything that's been tried, people who've taken that bait, they're getting hit already. They're already down on these investments, uh, you know, months into it. So what are the risks uh, of being too early in this housing market? Well, there's definitely risk. There's risk in any investment, and we all know that as investors, right? But you have to truly make wise decisions when you're coming into things like this. So you need to look at what your exit strategy is before you even enter anything. As a personal home buyer, as an investor, you better have a plan. A lot of people got into this market and they never had a plan on how they were going to get out or what they were going to do. They just bought a house because it was the thing to do. Right now, you better have a plan, and it requires real thinking and wise decisions making well uh, uh, so help me out before we let you go because we're running out of time should I be a buyer as an investor or should I just be a buyer because you know it's not gonna make me rich but it should do okay over the long term a house right now so as an investor smart move to buy right now as a personal home buyer if you have the credit rates are what historically low at 4.3 percent right now get in even if we go down a little bit they're gonna go back over the long haul and it's a great investment plan i tell you what tanya i hope so i think we all want to see this housing market define terra terra firma and start to rebound love your <laughs> optimism tanya markio team investments thanks a lot well, you know, the fallout from the housing bubble has been monumental. We yeah. all know that. So the big question is, what's the next bubble to burst? Well, guess what? All week, next week, we're going to be asking and answering that question for you. And we're going to focus on possibly different bubbles out there. People will not believe how many actual bubbles there are right now. No one talks about them. They're very threatening and they're very real. Bubbles out there that still exist. We're going to bring them out to you. Yeah, we're That's talking right. about in, in sectors that you may not have heard of, that you actually may be exposed to, things that really don't get headline attention. We're Oregon City. But a big area here will be flooded. We're talking about farmland, winter wheat, not out of the ground yet. Mm -hmm. We're talking about rice, still there. Gonna